So, this nail has a broken screen, as I'm going to show you. So as you can see there, it's completely broken. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it up. So I'm going to start by taking the bezel, and it's basically this plastic all the way around. So most of the laptops, unless they actually have screws, and even if they have screws, it's normally at the bottom, but normally most of the laptops have just this bezel, so you just go from the inside. If you try from the outside, you might break the support, so don't do it. Just do it from the inside, and well, if you don't have a broken screen, just be careful so you don't break it. So yeah. are more stubborn than others but in the end they will all come out preferably without breaking right at the bottom is a bit trickier so at the bottom okay this one came out straight away so at the bottom normally this part uh, let's see if you can actually see it, what I'm doing so this part here is normally glued to the screen so you need to be very careful and take start from the top or from the sides and then work all your way on the top and then once you get to the bottom start in one side and try sliding it through from side to side in this case put this down. so in this case you have this that comes out completely in some cases you don't you actually have to use like a pen or something to actually take it from the support so that's one part done right so now in this particular screen we have four screws two here and to here, once we take these ones, the screen is completely gonna fall off. Let me just grab something to put the screws in. So you're just gonna start from here. Hi Nelson! Is the music not good now? <laughs> Alright, so the screen is just gonna fall off now, as you can see. Boom. So, uh, now. So, basically, this is what is connecting the, the screen. So, all we're gonna do is basically take this cello tape that is here we still want to use it in the new screen so don't destroy it just pull it out carefully okay once the the glue is off Sometimes you have a support you actually have on this one. It's very small, but it basically keeps the connector on, on, on the other side. So it's basically just opposite where it connects. So we're just gonna take this up and then you just pull it straight back. And that's it, you got the screen out. So I'm gonna order a new screen. This is the model of the screen right here. Normally starts, it's like a, a long number. Um, let me see if I can show it here. Yeah, 
So this is basically the model screen or the model of the, the screen that you need to actually order a new one. Now sometimes uh, in the case of this one there's the same model for the same laptop but with either 30 or 40 pins. In this case this is the 30 pin. I know because I recognize it the 40 pin is slightly bigger. Right, it's not much bigger, but it's slightly bigger, okay? So I'm just gonna put this one aside. Da, 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 da. So I'm gonna put all of this aside for now, since we don't need it. I'm gonna keep the screen. So the screen just arrived, so we're just gonna assemble it very quickly. So this is the old screen, as you can see, is here, and the new one that just arrived. So exactly the same. I know the view is not great, but you have to bear with me. So the supports are exactly the same. Oh. So the socket to connect is exactly the same, the supports on both sides are exactly the same as well. So we're just gonna take the old one out and we're gonna start by connecting it first. So connected, put this little socket across and the glue to keep it in place and now I'm just gonna lift it and stick it where the sun doesn't shine <laughs> we just stick it to where we put the screws and we're just gonna put these four screws now sides and on the top and on the top so before we take the the film that is here this part that didn't come out, did it? Now the one here, here. So we're just gonna turn on the machine just to make sure that the screen is fully working and not broken during transit or anything. So yeah, screen is all fu fully functional as you can see. bezel on top just center the bottom as you want it to go so it might be a bit tricky so you might have to adjust in a certain spot but yeah it's kind of in the place so we're gonna start from the top now from the webcam so right from the center make sure the webcam is centered and if you touch this from the inside just make sure it's clean otherwise when the customer turns on or when you turn on the webcam it's gonna be all foggy and then you just clip it all the way along and down. Okay, and on the other side. So all you're doing is literally just sliding it across. You can see I missed one here, just clip it. 
don't force it too much, you just want it to clip it, you don't want to kind of break it out of place. again to make sure that you didn't miss anything on the sides and on the top and then again just checking the bottom making sure everything is in place there we go this support needs to be put in place as well and now just kind of close it up and just turn it around make sure that this is in the right place there we go so basically what I'm doing is checking here just to make sure that this is in proper in da, 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 da. check it around to make sure it's all done and yeah and that's a Dell Volstru 15 3000 screen replacement for you thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel once again thank you very much for watching and goodbye Thank you.